This video is for educational purposes. Karachi is the capital city of the Pakistani province of Sindh. It is the largest city in Pakistan and the 12th largest in the world, with a population of over 20 million. It is situated at the southern tip of the country along the Arabian Sea coast and formerly served as the capital of Pakistan. Ranked as a beta global city, it is Pakistan's premier industrial and financial center, with an estimated GDP of over $200 billion as of 2021. Karachi is considered Pakistan's most cosmopolitan city and among the country's most linguistically, ethnically dash and religiously diverse regions as well as one of the country's most progressive and socially liberal cities. Kindly subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends and families. The region has been inhabited for millennia, but the city was formally founded as the fortified village of Karachi as recently as 1729. The settlement greatly increased in importance with the arrival of the East India Company in the mid-19th century. British administrators embarked on substantial projects to transform the city into a major seaport and connect it with the extensive railway network of the Indian subcontinent. At the time of Pakistan's independence in 1947, the city was the largest in Sindh with an estimated population of 400,000 people. Afterwards, the city experienced a dramatic shift in population and demography with the arrival of hundreds of thousands of Muslim immigrants, Mohajirs, from India, coupled with a substantial exodus of its Hindu residents. The city experienced rapid economic growth following Pakistan's independence, attracting migrants from throughout the country and other regions in South Asia. According to the 2017 Census of Pakistan, Karachi's total population was 16,051,521, with 14.9 million of those people residing in the urban areas of the city. Karachi is one of the world's fastest-growing cities and has significant communities representing almost every ethnic group in Pakistan. Karachi holds more than 2 million Bengali immigrants, a million Afghan refugees, and up to 400,000 Rohingyas from Myanmar. Karachi is now Pakistan's premier industrial and financial center. The city has a formal economy estimated to be worth $190 billion as of 2021, which is the largest in the country. Karachi collects 35% of Pakistan's tax revenue and generates approximately 25% of Pakistan's entire GDP. Approximately 30% of Pakistani industrial output is from Karachi, while Karachi's ports handle approximately 95% of Pakistan's foreign trade. Approximately 90% of the multinational corporations and 100% of the banks operating in Pakistan are headquartered in Karachi. It also serves as a transport hub and contains Pakistan's two largest seaports, the Port of Karachi and Port Qasim, as well as Pakistan's busiest airport, Jinnah International Airport. Karachi is also considered to be Pakistan's fashion capital and has hosted the annual Karachi Fashion Week since 2009. Known as the City of Lightsk in the 1960s and 1970s for its vibrant nightlife, Karachi was beset by sharp ethnic, sectarian, and political conflict in the 1980s with the large-scale arrival of weaponry during the Soviet-Afghan War. The city had become well known for its high rates of violent crime, but recorded crimes sharply decreased following a crackdown operation against criminals, the MQM political party, and Islamist militants, initiated in 2013 by the Pakistan Rangers. As a result of the operation, Karachi dropped from being ranked the world's sixth most dangerous city for crime in 2014, to 128th by 2022. Before independence, the city was widely known as Karachi in Urdu, though the English spelling Karachi became more popular over time. Modern Karachi was reputedly founded in 1729 as the settlement of Kalachi Jogath during the rule of Kalhora dynasty. The new settlement is said to have been named in honor of my Kalachi, whose son is said to have slain a man-eating crocodile in the village after his elder brothers had already been killed by it. The name Karachi, a shortened and corrupted version of the original name Kalachi Jogoth, was used for the first time in a Dutch report from 1742 about a shipwreck near the settlement. The region around Karachi has been the site of human habitation for millennia. Upper Paleolithic and Mesolithic sites have been excavated in the Mulry Hills along Karachi's northern outskirts. These earliest inhabitants are believed to have been hunter-gatherers, with ancient flint tools discovered at several sites. The expansive Karachi region is believed to have been known to the ancient Greeks, and may have been the site of Barbarican, an ancient seaport which was located at the nearby mouth of the Indus River. Karachi may also have been referred to as Ramya in ancient Greek texts. 
The ancient site of Krakala, a natural harbor west of the Indus where Alexander the Great sailed his fleet for Achaemenid Assyria, may have been located near the mouth of Karachi's Malir River, though some believe it was located near Gizri. No other natural harbor exists near the mouth of the Indus that could accommodate a large fleet. Nearchus, who commanded Alexander's naval fleet, also mentioned a hilly island by the name of Marantabara and an adjacent flat island named Bibacta, which colonial historians identified as Karachi's Menorah Point and Kiamari, or Clifton, respectively, based on Greek descriptions. Both areas were island until well into the colonial era, when silting and led to them being connected to the mainland. In 711 CE, Muhammad bin Qasim conquered the Sindh and Indus Valley and the port of Debal, from where he launched his forces further into the Indus Valley in 712. Some have identified the port with Karachi, though some argue the location was somewhere between Karachi and the nearby city of Thatta. Under Mirza Ghazi Beg, the Mughal administrator of Sindh, the development of coastal Sindh and the Indus River Delta was encouraged. Under his rule, fortifications in the region acted as a bulwark against Portuguese incursions into Sindh. In 1553-54, Ottoman Admiral Saidi Ali Reis mentioned a small port along the Sindh coast by the name of Karachi which may have been Karachi. The Chakandi tombs in Karachi's modern suburbs were built around this time between the 15th and 18th centuries. 19th century Karachi historian Seth Naomal Hachand recorded that a small settlement of 20 to 25 huts existed along the Karachi harbor that was known as Dibro, which was situated along a pool of water known as Kalachi Jokuan. In 1725, a band of Baloch settlers from Makran and Kalat had settled in the hamlet after fleeing droughts and tribal feuds. A new settlement was built in 1729 at the site of Dibro, which came to be known as Kalachi Jogoth, the village of Kalachi. The new settlement is said to have been named in honor of Mykalachi, a resident of the old settlement whose son is said to have slain a man-eating crocodile. Kalachi was about 40 hectares in size, with some smaller fishing villages scattered in its vicinity. The founders of the new fortified settlement were Sindhi Baniyas, and are said to have arrived from the nearby town of Karak Bandar after the harbour there silted in 1728 after heavy rains. Kalachi was fortified and defended with cannons imported from Muscat, Oman. Under the Talpers, the Rai Bandar road was built to connect the city's port to the caravan terminals. This road would eventually be further developed by the British into Bandar Road, which was renamed Muhammad Ali Jinnah Road. The name Karachi was used for the first time in a Dutch document from 1742, in which a merchant ship to Ritterkirk is shipwrecked near the settlement. In 1770s, Karachi came under the control of the Khan of Kalat, which attracted a second wave of Balochi settlers. In 1795, Karachi was annexed by the Talpers, triggering a third wave of Balochi settlers who arrived from central Sindh and southern Punjab. The Talpers built the Menorah Fort in 1797, which was used to protect Karachi's harbor from al qasimi pirates. In 1799 or 1800, the founder of the Talper dynasty, Mir Fadeh Ali Khan, allowed the East India Company under Nathan Crow to establish a trading post in Karachi. He was allowed to build a house for himself in Karachi at that time, but by 1802 was ordered to leave the city. The city continued to be ruled by the Talpers until it was occupied by forces under the command of John Keane in February 1839. The British East India Company captured Karachi on February 3, 1839 after HMS Wellesley opened fire and quickly destroyed Menorah Fort, which guarded Karachi Harbour at Menorah Point. Karachi's population at the time was an estimated 8,000 to 14,000, and was confined to the walled city in Mithadar. Thank you for watching this video. Kindly subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends and families. See you in the next one.